Well, hey everyone, we have stepped out of the studio to take you, our Studio 3 viewers, to a brand new restaurant. It just opened up recently here in Huntington. Yeah, the Grill on 3rd. It's right along 3rd mm -hmm. Avenue, about a block from Marshall. We've got Buddy's Barbecue and Calamity all on the same area. We want to go inside and check out the menu for you. Yep, so let's go ahead and head inside the Grill on 3rd, everyone. The sponsor for has been amazing. Uh, this to start off, we're trying to buy some parking for Calamity. And uh, the restaurant's really busy over there. I had a wonderful opportunity to buy a large parking area. And I figured if I owned a property, I might as well go ahead and develop it. So in my mind, the best option would be a steakhouse that wouldn't compete with Calamity. I don't want to you know, take business from myself. So we're trying to get something totally different from Calamity. Uh, so we tried for like a an upper end steakhouse. It's uh, not working out really well for us. So we do a black Angus uh, filet mignon. Um, I usually pan sear that in olive oil, cracked black pepper, and kosher sea salt. So we're at 4 o'clock uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. Close Monday and Tuesday. You, we like reservations on Friday and Saturday. We're really busy on Friday and Saturday. It's just good to have reservations. But, you know, we, we welcome walk-ins every day. So it doesn't matter if you can walk in on Friday and Saturday. That's great. We're not going to turn anybody away. 11 a.m. we'll have brunch on Sunday. We had a wonderful brunch menu. Actually, we're going to serve the full menu. 11 a.m. Yep, we're going to serve the full menu, plus, plus uh, all the brunch items. So um, it's going to work out. I think it'll be a big, big uh, step forward for us and, and give us you know, some extra people in here and get them excited and body it. Okay, really nice sear on that. Upstairs is, is a banquet area that can hold up to 40 people uh, with, with its own, uh, it has own restaurants up there. It's very private. We also have a front dining room that holds, I think, 36 people. 36, yes. 36 people. And uh, that can also be as a private dining room. Uh, we got the main bar area here. The bar has uh, 14 seats. We got the booths. We have nine booths that are really wonderful, very nice. And we got a, a back dining room with three large windows that also holds 36 people. Yes, it does. Sources so people also. It could be used for a, you know, for a, a party room or just, you know, we use it for individual, individual dining also. But uh, we got, you know, kind of like, I say four separate dining areas and the bar area. So, uh, third year has got each one's got a wonderful atmosphere. I think it's probably easy to draw people from Huntington because they're looking for something different to eat. But what do you say to those? Because we get a lot of viewers from Ohio and Kentucky too to draw them here. Um, you know, what would you tell them to get them in the doors to to come and eat? Here? I would I would say my I would say you know for real steakhouse, steak and seafood house. I would say my food's comparable any place in Cincinnati or or Columbus. We have I mean. Plate presentation is amazing here. The food's amazing. The value is great. So I, I, it's worth the drive. It's worth the drive. You know, from Charleston. We got we get a lot of people from Charleston. We get a lot of people from Charleston. We have people from Lexington. We have people from out of town who happen to see review on Facebook from North Carolina that came in. <laughs> it's worth the drive. It's 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 the food. I mean, it's it's, it's like five star food. It's amazing. It's worth it. Worth the drive. And it's, you know, it's it's you know, people are usually pretty pretty happy when you leave. And that's the main thing. I think everybody leaves are super satisfied when they leave. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And lots of new additions yeah. that they're putting in, too, yes. that we found out, Susan. Um, actually, in just a couple of days, mm -hmm. starting brunch mm -hmm. on Sundays that they'll be offering you. Um, so that'll be kind of a different menu. Yeah. And then he also said springtime mm -hmm. that they are going to be putting in an outdoor area with yes. kind of like fire pits uh -huh. and adding a really cool ambiance outside, too. Yeah, so we wanted to uh, invite you. If anyone knows of a new restaurant mm -hmm. opening in your town, let us know about it. Yeah. And we'll go check out what's on the menu. Well, coming up on 